Hi everybody, it's me again, Eben Hanoko, with the base review, every Friday. Alright, the first base I'm going to review this January is this Made in Indonesia, Sterling by Music Man Ray 35. This is one budget base, but it doesn't sound budget at all. This base is amazing, I've had it for several months, I got it for $700. And it, I bought it pre-owned and this one used to have gloss, glossy neck uh, I had to sandpaper it myself to make it satin why because I don't like glossy neck it's just stuck in the finger and uh, right here I've had some fret levelings uh, and uh, re-angle the neck and make the neck just slightly bent Backward. Why? To add tension to the strings. I want it, I want the low B to sound like this. Ah ha ha. Tight, right? Okay. Uh, I've had bridge adjustment, intonation, of course. Everything else, all the uh, stocks. I mean, I mean, all the electronics are stocks. Except for the cables. I've replaced the cables with Magami to bring up the tone and uh, add more gain, of course. This base has only one battery slot. uses a V9 battery. It has the Sterling by Music Men engraving over here. This is the series uh, code and six bolt-ons. Uh, that is all about this bass. I'm gonna let you guys look closer to the bass while I'm playing it uh, and show you the variations of sound you can get out of this bass. All right?
That was all about the Spray 35 Sterling by Music Man. What do you think? Is it worth it? I think it's so worth it. I've had several Stingrays. I've always had problem with the neck with Stingrays. One of them is actually twisted like this. So I cannot adjust it and I cannot fix it. So I had to sell it for a very, very cheap price. Uh, this one, I've had no problem with it. I had problems, I had problem with it once when we had a outdoor show and it was raining, it was pouring, it was cold. Uh, the neck was, I think it was expanding just a little bit, but I feel some buzz around this area. So what I did was I adjust the intonation, uh, I mean intonation, I adjust the truss rod just a little bit. I loosened the truss rod just a little bit and the problem was gone. And then I tighten it back as soon as I get back to my home. All right, that is all about this bass. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. Uh, if you're looking for a Stingray but you have uh, some budget and don't want to spend it all, this is one great choice. I would, if I had the money to buy Stingray, I would still buy this perhaps because it's just so worth it. With the replacement of wiring, it's just like Stingrays. All right, they're slightly different, just a slight different, but I've had this in a recording studios and everybody is telling me this is great bass, nice bass. All right, okay, I'll see you again next week, guys with a new base. Uh, next week I'm going to be reviewing not this. This is a Sterling, uh, this is a Stingray base, pre-Ernie Ball. I'm going to be reviewing the my Sterling 4. USA Sterling 4. All right? I'll see you again next week. All right, that is all for today. Don't forget to click subscribe, like and leave comment down below. See you again next week. Bye.